Tis of a pretty female, as you may understand. Her mind been bent for rambling into some foreign land. She dressed herself in sailor's clothes, or so it does appear, and she hired with a captain to serve him for a year. The captain's wife she been on board, she seemed in great joy. To think her husband had engaged such a handsome cabin boy, and now and then she slipped him a kiss, and she would have liked a toy, but was the captain found out the secret of the handsome cabin boy. Her cheeks they were like roses, her hair all in a curl. The sailors often smiled and said he looked just like a girl. But eating of the captain's biscuit their colour did destroy, and the wasted swell of pretty Nell, the handsome cabin boy. T'was in the bay of Biscay our gallant ship did plough, one night amongst the sailors was a fearful flurry and row. They tumbled from their hammocks, for their sleep it did destroy, and they swore about the groaning of the handsome cabin boy. O oh, doctor, dear, O oh, doctor, the cabin boy did cry, me time is come, I am undone, and I shall surely die. The doctor came a-running and a-smiling at the fun, for to think a sailor lad should have a daughter or a son. The sailors, when they saw the joke, now they did stand and stare. The child belonged to none of them, they each did solemnly swear. The captain's wife, she says to him, my dear, I wish you joy. For tis either you or I has betrayed the handsome cabin boy. So each man took his tot of rum and drank success to trade, and likewise to the cabin boy who was neither man nor maid, is hoping the wars don't rise again our sailors to destroy, and is hoping for a jolly lot more. Like the handsome cabin boy.